Welcome to High Tech Low Life, and today I have for you a very interesting screwdriver set. This is the Salem Master Mini Electric Screwdriver Kit 69. This is a mini electric screwdriver. If you've ever seen them, their screwdriver is about the size of a pencil almost. A, little, a lot thicker, but you know. So this is the magnetic pad that comes with it, surprisingly enough. You're supposed to put your screws on there, and it's supposed to stay still, as opposed to like rolling around everywhere. So this is the rest of the product. This, well, this is what you bought the product for, isn't it? Well, if you do end up buying it. Anyways, the links are in the description below. So in here, this is a pretty big case for a, ca a carrying case. And we'll explore that a little later. But right now, let's get to the bits and the screwdriver. So this is the first set of bits. Yeah, this is actually the third set of bits. Sorry, my bad. And we're gonna line them up together with all of them. This gives you three tubes full of bits. Full of bits that are commonly used, as well as bits that you'll probably never touch in your life. This is a tr uh, base. This is where you put your screwdriver when you're not using it. So the case here, looks like it holds four. We'll get back to that later. And this right here is the pad. I'm not gonna demonstrate it because, I mean, I don't really need to, do I? This is just unboxing our accessories. We'll get into this little box later because this is what separates it from your average screwdriver kit. So this right here is your screwdriver. This, well, this is, this is what you've been waiting for, right? Probably not. But regardless, this is the product that I'm reviewing right now. This right here. This is the, this is the uh, creme de la creme. This is the product right here. As you can see here, it's like a it's like a thinner marker. It's like a thinner like expo marker almost. The screwdriver itself feels quite nice and sturdy, as do the bits. There are two buttons on the screwdriver, one to screw in and one to screw out. When either of these buttons are pressed, however, a little light turns on, directed towards where the area you're screwing. It's highly convenient in case there's very little light where you're working, and if you're like me, sometimes it's hard to get light in certain crevices even with the flashlight. The top of the screwdriver houses a USB port, micro USB more specifically, and that's what you use to charge it. I would have preferred a type C port, but it's a screwdriver, I'm not really that concerned with it. So this is how it fits the top of the base. The base just allows it to sit upright, however, it doesn't provide any additional benefits aside from, you know, looking nice. I think it would have been a lot cooler if the base was some kind of charger, but I don't mind. Now let's talk about the accessory box. The accessory box features a spudger for separating adhesive, a suction cup, and it features extra screws and a place to put your screws. Now let's talk about the bits. So right here, I have the three bit groups right here. They're each labeled X1, X2, and X3. Let's focus on X1 because I guarantee you, you aren't gonna use any of these in X2 or X3. X1 features all of your Phillips heads, your flat heads, and even your Torx security screws. So you may have seen earlier in the video, and actually in the fight stick video if you watched my earlier videos, that this was the very screwdriver set that I was using the screw in the bottom of the stick. This sort of set appeals really towards people that likes to tinker with electronics or repair electronics, or in the case of my audience, I would presume, building your own PC. For my PC master race, fellow folks, I highly recommend this for your PC building purposes. This seems like a very frivolous thing to buy, and like, why not just buy a regular screwdriver in like your normal hardware store? 
And you know, I do agree. I do agree. You could definitely do that. And you know, I do have a ton of screwdrivers already in my house. But I bought this mostly because I wanted something that was a lot easier and a lot more high tech, so to speak. And this thing just looked really cool. I just really wanted it. I wanted to have it in my hands. And I do now. So, should you get this? Well, personally, if you're doing like outside DIY stuff, I would rather you get like a power drill instead. Like, you know, power tools instead of this thing. Because this thing is not the sort of screwdriver set that you want for outdoor work. This is for more delicate electronic work. Though, you could always get both. This video was sponsored by Panic Brand. Panic Brand is the modern apparel store for the modern meme machines of 2020. Every two months, one new artist gets to create five shirts, and these are limited edition shirts. And some of the designs look quite nice. I really dig the hush one in the top right corner right here. These come in all different sizes, and if you use the link in the description below, you get a 20% discount, and your favorite YouTuber gets some kickback.